All right, it is time for that famous, famous scene where romance is made and she's lost that loving feeling. I promise you by the time this little emo market out is done, you will have lost that loving feeling as well. So with that, uh, let's get right into it. What we've got here is we've got three rounds of EMOM. So we, well, how it works is we've got one minute of max rep burpees. Minute number two, we are going to do max rep jumping lunges. Minute number three, we're gonna do max rep box jumps and step downs. And in our minute number four, we are gonna do max rep air squats. So very, very leggy workout for this one. Um, so the biggest thing here is minute one, max rep burpees. You're gonna to wanna to set a pace here. That's gonna be the one that really jacks your heart rate up. You're gonna to wanna to manage that, make sure it's a steady pace as opposed to come blistering out of the cannon, right? So max rep burpees, and if we're doing burpees, we're down on the ground. We're here, chest makes the ground every time, right? We're popping up, clapping overhead. That's a burpee, okay? So you might have noticed there, my legs go wide. Tall person, maybe I've got some restricted mobility in the hips. By going wide, I shorten that length of the jump for myself, right? So I can go here in a conventional one, but you can see here, there's a lot more bending for me to come over to get that up. So if I go out here and I go legs wide, it's a lot easier movement for me than finishing that off with that clap overhead. Now, if burpees aren't happening for you, or if you don't want to do three rounds of burpees, we can replace those with uh, bottom half burpees uh, or sprawls, right? So we're here. That's your, your sprawl, okay? So that's minute number one, as many burpees as you can do. Minute number two, we're going into max rep alternating lunge jumps. So you can see here how my legs are going back, right? Be careful how you're setting that knee down. That one's gonna put some lactic acid in those legs. So go careful with that one as we're going. As we're stepping back, if we can't do those jumps, that would be your alternative. Okay, so that'd be max rep of the jumping lunges, right? Or the step back lunges if that's not happening. After we're done that, we're gonna go into box jumps and then step downs. So we're here, right? And we're jumping on that box. We're opening those hips every time, right? We wanna make sure we open up at the top every time. We don't wanna stay here, right? We're not getting that full range of motion. We want that full range of motion for the full benefit. Okay, so if, if you don't have that uh, something stable enough for box jumps, then we can just alternate out those steps, okay? So ideally you're gonna have something about 14 inches, you know, if you're doing step ups, even a kitchen chair is a good uh, working item to do work with, okay? So after you're done that, minute number four, it is max rep air squats, all right? Now we did our air squats in the start, just because we're going fast now and trying to get as many as possible, fully extended at the top, full depth at the bottom. Punch your way through those for a full minute. So every one of these is as many reps as possible for that minute. Minute number five pops up, that's your rest minute, okay? So you're gonna wanna set up 15 minutes on EMOM and every minute you switch through those reps. Our score at the end is the total number of reps completed in the workout. So just keep counting as you're going up in your first round, write that down in your minute of rest and you can practice your math at the end, all right? So she's lost that loving feeling. We'll find out in the comments below. Have a good day.